right now on my way to the public march called for by the Sudanese Professionals Association in downtown Khartoum. Um, I'm frightened. I'm frightened. The regime has been gassing, terrorizing, and even gunning down people. Peaceful protesters has been gunning down peaceful protesters, and I just hope nothing horrible happens today. He went anyway, and he wasn't alone. But the heavy deployment of Sudanese security forces rendered it almost impossible to document the march. If the marches do continue, the Sudanese state seems intent on ensuring they continue away from the eyes of the world. My sister, Yusra al baghir a journalist filming for CNN in Khartoum, was harassed and assaulted by officers who caught her filming. We just got to a safe place a little while ago. A convoy of national security officers and armed trucks caught us secretly filming them. They aggressively approached the car. They banged on the windows. Finally, I opened the door. They ripped my shirt trying to get me to give up my camera phone. They're on high alert today, and they're trying to make sure that the world isn't watching. Today is day 13 of demonstrations across Sudan calling for the almost three-decade rule of Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir to end. This is the first demonstration since Bashir addressed his top police officers, initially calling for restraint, but then quoting a verse from the Quran that cancelled, they exact penance. And what is exacting penance? He went on to say, it is killing, it is execution as a deterrent. The next day, protesters filmed this scene. Bloodied body wrapped in a sheet. Activists say he was killed after live ammunition was shot into the crowd by security forces, joining the dozens to have died in less than two weeks and the hundreds injured. The streets are now quieter. Demonstrators dispersed using tear gas. How long they will remain quiet is uncertain. Nemal Bagher, CNN, London.